Hey there friends, it's Nick and this is episode 451 of the Story Hacker podcast and I've been reading this, I'm halfway through really, this fascinating book by a British historian Andrew Roberts. The book's called Leadership in War and um, if if this book is anything to go by, I'm really looking forward to digging into uh, some of his other work next year. He's, uh, Roberts has got a really well-reviewed one-volume biography of Churchill. He's got another of Napoleon. But this book is a series of vignettes about, well, I was going to say great leaders in war, but he's including um, Hitler and Stalin. So you might say perhaps more powerful leaders or effective leaders. And what he's looking for really are the kind of the, the lessons for leaders that he can bring um, from these these vignettes. And uh, they're very good, really good. Uh, I'm learning a lot. Um, and he includes uh, the Napoleon is there, of course, Churchill is there, um, Nelson is always there, Eisenhower, de Gaulle, I think, Thatcher, which presumably will be about the Falklands War, although she's, she's at the end. Um, but one of the things that comes out really early on, in fact, Roberts makes this point, is that all of the leaders he's profiling, they actually believed in something bigger than themselves. And um, I find this fascinating. I, and it's fascinating because this, this finding from a historian crosses over so beautifully with, um, with another book I've been reading recently. And I've mentioned, you know, over the past few weeks that I've been listening to podcasts and things with Jim Collins I've been reading um, his book um, about the flywheel, the monograph he wrote about uh, turning your flywheel. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. And one of the things that Colin said about the best leaders is that, um, is it, well, exactly the same. They believe in something more than themselves. He's talking about business. Roberts, of course, is talking about, you know, politicians, really, war leaders, um, but it's fascinating that they, they separately come to the same conclusion. And I think when that happens, when, when we see different disciplines arrive at the same place, it's really something to think about and something to, to sort of latch onto. And this, I guess, is, again, is slightly triggered by, did I mention I was watching a lecture um, by a guy called Russell Ackhoff, who's a, a, a professor in systems thinking. I think I mentioned this a couple of, couple of weeks ago, but he... In, in one of his talks that's on YouTube, he talks really powerfully about how, how academic disciplines and disciplines in general are just a way that we, we file knowledge kind of usefully. But, you know, in some sense, all knowledge exists on a continuum. And to say this piece is psychology, this piece is sociology, this piece is history, is much more for our benefit um, in terms of where do we put this in the syllabus? Where do we put this in the filing cabinet? Um, to use his metaphor, that is true in the real world. And I think one of the things that um, I love about life, really, is our ability to be curious, our ability to, to grab information from different sources and our ability to synthesise, which is, in some sense, what, uh, well, that's what creativity is all about. It's, I've talked about composting in the past. You know, I read... Um, to kind of compost thoughts and ideas and principles and what have you, and then bring them out through the work that I do with stories and storytelling. Anyway, here's the question. Here's the question. What do you stand for that is more than yourself, more than just building a business for the sake of building a business, more than just making money? Now, I reckon, you know, I've talked before about having this thought that people who tell better stories get better lives. And that was a big deal for me. It was a big moment for me because it connected me to, to a purpose that was more meaningful than, you know, I, wanna, I, I sort of want to tell stories and I sort of just want to make some money. Because when I realised that people who tell better stories get better lives, you know, that's the moment really where I started to think about... Um, creating content and putting value out into the world and, and um, telling my story on the way. And that's one of the ways in which, you know, perhaps the most significant way in which my story has meant business. So I hope you have something to champion. I hope you have something, a cause. I hope you have something you believe in. 
because if uh, Jim Collins is right and Andrew Roberts is right, that's a big deal if you want to lead anyone anywhere. Thanks for listening. And remember, your story means business.